Denny Avdia, my man. I really think next year is going to be the year. All right, guys, I have faith. Have faith with me because right now we're hearing he is not playing with the Israeli national team, which I think last year kind of screwed over his development because he was super tired. And personally, I think he only got, I think what people said was two or three weeks with Drew Hanel, Hanlon, who is like one of the best NBA trainers. And hopefully he trains with him again this offseason. But he's saying he's not going to play for the international team. And he wants to focus the entire summer on his three-point shooting and left-handed dribbling. And I just want to real quickly talk about Denny Avdia because he is one of my favorite players in the league. And I truly feel like if the, he's already like one of the better defenders, I can see him maybe one day making an all defensive team. All right. Because he tries. And this is a guy who closed out the season averaging 15 points over the last six games, 50% from the field, 31% from three, eight rebounds, 5.5 assists and one steal. That's that's what we think that he can do. 15 points a night, eight rebounds, five and a half assists, a steal a night. All right, 50% from the field. And if he can get that three point shot, you know, to 34%, he already takes like three, four attempts from three a night. So I really do believe this is something that's going to entirely open up his game. I want to hear your thoughts down below if you guys agree with me. And let's get right into it and talk about this. All right. We're on the way to 20,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to support the channel, hit that like and subscribe button. I'm also like two years older, almost two years older than Denny Avdia. That's crazy. I'm like 23. He's just turned 22. But like he's 18 months younger than me. So Denny Avdia is this rising star in the NBA. He's a young athlete. He needs to focus on his individual skills to reach his full potential. While representing Israel in international competitions can be a significant achievement for Denny Avdia, I don't think it's the best option for Avdia at this stage of his career. One of the key areas of improvement for Avdia is his left-handed dribbling. Although he's shown flashes of brilliance with his offhand, he still needs to improve his ball handling to become a more versatile player by dedicating time and energy to this aspect of his game. Avdia can develop into a more complete player, all around guy, which he has the potential of, making him a super valuable asset to any team that he plays for, specifically the Wizards that we hope he plays his whole career for. I know that's unlikely, but you know. Another area we all know Avdia can improve is three-point shooting. While he's showing potential in this area, it's more the consistency to hit the outside shot to become a more reliable threat from beyond the arc. A reliable three-point shot makes Avdia a significant threat with more weapons in his offensive arsenal, forcing defenders to guard him more closely, then opening up opportunities for his teammates so he can create scoring op opportunities for them. All right, it's five and a half assists he closed out the season averaging. I love me, Denny Avdia, so much. And it's just, for me, I, I'm i really, really stoked for to see this, all right? So focusing on these aspects of his game can be challenging, especially, you know, if Avdia continues to try to juggle international duties with the Israeli national team. Playing for the national team would require him to divide his attention and energy, and he may not have the time and resources needed to improve his skill to the level he desires. Furthermore, playing for the national team would expose Avdia to a different style of play, which may not necessarily align with his goals, aspirations, or even what the Wizards wants him to do because you play different for your national team than you do in the NBA, which would sacrifice certain elements of his game to fit the teams and could hinder his progress as a player. So for me, I think Denny Avdia to unlock his full potential to become the star player in the NBA we know he can become, he needs to focus on his individual skills. Like we said, left-handed dribbling and three-point shooting. Yes, we know representing Israel, the national team, is an honor, but it's not the best option for him at this point of his career. And I think, you know, focusing on himself right now is the, the most important thing. And that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. What do you guys think of Denny Avdia? And if you guys are on the same page as me, I think it's just the best option for him at this point is just to focus on his self because... That's what we need, all right? I love me some Danny Avdia. He's one of my favorite players in the NBA, and he's just a dog. So let me hear your thoughts down below if there was anything you guys think. Because he's already, like, the flashes we see, I think he's starting to get hungrier. And just imagine if he had a three-point shot. 
all right? He's one of the most complete guys already. So I just think that's just something we got to already factor in.